Red Snack plays Dark Souls. Episode 29. So, I've started this episode before and recorded around 8 minutes. And then, my whole computer died because it, I thought it was a good idea to tweak around my BIOS settings. I guess it wasn't. So I reset them. <laughs> Hope this hider won't kill us now. And my PC neither. Whoa, stop doing that thing. So, what is it different than before is collect the strength scale from the beginning so that I wouldn't have to run back there anymore. Because I didn't want to kill the Hydra there because I want to show off something. So yeah, and we're still in Ash Lake where we ended the last episode on a red sad note like you've seen at the start our two friends were still in the background and now we're running away from his Hydra hiding behind this huge skull and now the Hydra's gone why is the Hydra gone? Because it is isn't! Fucking flying Hydra. So and now we actually want to kill the Hydra because we've seen it flying now. So do something useful like attacking me. Yes. Very good. Oh, I like that. don't like that and I never will stop doing that. Just attack me. I that to happen like I didn't want that to happen because ah, I still can't hit it like that. Yeah, that was a better position, I guess. Because I could actually cut off a hair. And I should have hold hell. Come on, let me kill you. Don't do that. Don't do that. How am I supposed to cut off one of your heads?
No, I can't get up there. There. Oh, fuck you. God. Fucking damn. And I didn't hit that hand. Was it enough? It was enough. Yes. Uh, wasted so no so <laughs> but at least got some stuff for it so came out of that giant tree and we're headed in the direction of this giant tree. Oh, this place looks so cool. Wait. Uh -huh. Yes, I missed that. I knew that was there. And on the dragon scale. Town hall tells of some place where people try to become dragons. And we're finding corpses at dragon scales. Could this, this be a place? We know what that thing is. So we're going to kill it. That's not good. And that's actually terrible. <laughs> that doesn't do shit. Do the double attack. Thank you. Oops, that was supposed to be a jumping attack. Now, nah, please. Die, thank you. Hey, 
And why would any of you drop something for me? Why? So, there's an item over there. Let's get that. Bye. Walking over here. Dropping down here. And then we can just grab it, but... Wow. Took me ages to figure out that way when I tried to get that item for the first time. So... Let's continue on our path to an even bigger tree. And yes, we learned that the Hydra can fly and it will actually chase us all this way down here. If we wouldn't have killed it already. Thank you for the twinkling tight line. No, I don't need any ring anymore. I love this. Arch trees. Reminds me of the intro. What were they saying? Arch trees and and hmm, what is that? What were they saying in the intro? Arch trees and Everlasting Dragons. Hail to the Almighty Everlasting Dragon. And we found a new covenant. And let's join it. Now we got the dragon head. And let's see what you can do with it. Dragon head. We can turn into a fucking dragon. And, if you see that now, we can spit fucking fire. And, a long time ago, we learned to cut off tails of big things. Because we want the dragon greatsword. Which we can't use, but it looks fucking cool. So, now, we're gonna stay in dragon form until we die the next time. And we've actually done everything there is to do in Ash Lake, so let's warp to our good friend Andre. I didn't want to bring you that ember. I want to buy some. 
Hmm, what do I want to buy? What do I want to buy? Some shards? Or do I need something else? Nah, let's just buy the shards. Go get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. But you didn't actually notice my new face. What's going on here? So, now let's... Need head. I have head. I have a dragon head now. Now, we're going to run to the boss. We left alive in this area. And on the way to that, we're going to burn some trees. So, what I forgot to say about Dragon Head is that you can actually turn into a whole dragon when you upgrade in that covenant. Uh, and you could always wear a helmet right now, and if you upgrade to the whole covenant, you can not wear any armor at all, but you have dragon skin, which is pretty strong. So, let's enter this place here. And it looks like this actually is the grave of Sir Artorius. Which Alvina tried to con con uh, convince us that it didn't exist, but here it is. So let's check it out. That's the special cutscene you get when you rescue Sif in the DLC before starting that boss fight. That was the wrong button. And he either notices you or he smells Artorius on you. But I guess he notices you, but then still has to continue his duty to protect the grave of Sir Artorius. And may also try to protect us. Come on, what am I doing here? It's just Sif. Also try to to protect us. 
because he knows what we can do with that power we will find at this grave and that can be quite dangerous And I'm gonna switch to crossbow here because I'll show you something. Saddest boss fight ever in any game, especially with that extra cutscene. Look at that, he's hurt. Can't wield this forward anymore. Oh god, and now it's the saddest moment of all. Okay, maybe next attack. Oh god, that poor puppy. So. That sentence. It's now we got the ring, which is called Covenant of Artorias, which allows us to traverse the abyss. And Ingrid actually suggested finding Sir Artorias because he could teach us how to traverse the abyss. But what is that thing behind here? It's the Hornet Ring. What's the Hornet Ring? You ask? Well, it belonged to the Lord Blade, Kirin. And who did kill Kirin? We did that because we traveled to the past. But I guess no one knows that, because Elizabeth told us no one will sing our praises, or does some ac actually know? So, to repeat my question, does no one actually know we went to the, into the past? She must know. We saved her. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thy wishes. My home of Ulysseal was reduced to ashes long ago in my time. I have been alone ever since, but to be summoned thus, and to be of service to thee, it is most rewarding. Oh, forgive me. Such a long pastime is none of thine concern. Is it? This may strike thine ear as somewhat peculiar, but long ago, in my homeland of Ulysseal, I was beset by a creature from the abyss. I would have perished then, were it not for the great knight Artorius. What? In truth, I saw little of what transpired. 
The mind senses were already fled, but even still, there was something about Artorius. A certain balance of the humors that quite perfectly fits your semblance. Heavens, could it be that? Oh, dear me. That was Ulysil, many centuries ago. Please excuse my fanciful musings. This may strike thine I in yeah, that but oh, please. She notes me. Just thinks it can't be. If thou art in need, pray summon me again. I wish to be of assistance. May the flames guide thee. Say well. So she knows, but she doesn't think it's possible. That's enough for me. Kill all her friends in all the seals, though. Let's let her alive. And continue on our path here. Because we want to do one more thing after finding that everlasting dragon. That is to clear the valley of the drakes. Hey, come back. Those things are evil and strong. Come on. Don't do that to me. Especially this one. I usually it's our swamp person. But finally killed him, so <coughs> first we want to run further up here. Be 
check out. We want to check out that thing. And it is just lying here. We had some items right here. And if you grab that sword, it's going to anger. What you can do then is get up here and just snipe him forever. And he's dead. I could have grabbed the Dragon Quest shield without aggroing him. And I think you can even grab that one without aggroing him. But if you get <laughs> a Sora's shield, it's going to aggro immediately. And if you attack him, of course. Uh, that was the second undead dragon that was in this game. After the one we fought in the Painted World. So now we want to get over here and grab that thing on top of the tower on the right. Perfect roll. Okay, the actual trick in finding this guy is to stagger them after the first hit, but you can do that with this weapon. Ah, my souls are gone. I usually don't die that often <laughs> to those strikes. And now we got the red tear star ring, which we're never ever going to use. In this new game, maybe later. So, I'm going to clean up my inventory, spend the few souls I have, I want to spend more, and we'll continue 
right here in Yolanda in the next episode. Because now we can traverse the abyss.